forests, living, breathing ecosystems. Pulsating with life. A source of water, energy and livelihood for millions across the planet. But today, forests all over the world are under pressure. Primordial jungles are being cleared to make way for industry, commercial agriculture and human habitation. Mass scale deforestation have depleted the Earth's carbon sink, triggering erratic weather patterns, floods and droughts. In India, 66% of the original forest cover is lost already. Energy poverty is a major cause as communities with no access to alternate energy sources depend on forests for their energy needs. 80% of India's fuel wood consumption comes from forests. Communities dependent on forests and farmers have been worst affected. Deforestation has increased soil erosion and loss of groundwater, leading to poor harvests. Land degradation and unsustainable agricultural practices is disrupting nature's intricate balance. The urgent need is to restore forest ecosystems and provide energy alternatives for local communities to take the pressure off forests. With this objective, the World Agroforestry Centre, ECRAF, and the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, launched the development of Alternative Biofuel Crops Programme in the year 2013 an initiative that focuses on developing agroforestry-based biofuel production that provides clean energy for rural communities, enhances local food security and increases farmers' resilience to climate change. Integrated food and energy system, which is agroforestry way of producing biofuel, ensures that there is no land use change, ensures that the food productivity increases, ensures that there is an option for local energy for the smallholder farmers. So that is the essential thing about the whole program, is that we are targeting it in such a way that the whole controversy about food versus fuel is avoided. Building on experiments already done with the project partner, University of Agriculture Sciences, UAS Bangalore, on multi-purpose biofuel tree species or tree-borne oil seeds TBOs, as new sources of energy that provide an alternative to fuel wood from the forests, the project attempts to take this to the next level. With food, energy and livelihood options as top priority, Hassan and Bijapur in Karnataka, where UAS Bangalore is working, were selected as pilot sites under the project. For a sustainable biofuel production project, a constant and regular supply of feedstock for biofuel was crucial. For this purpose, the project's partner, UAS Bangalore, set up the biofuel park in Hassan, which would act as a research center and knowledge storehouse. Regular trainings and workshops for the local communities were organized to create awareness about biofuel trees as a source of energy. The purpose of this park is mainly to uh, have a novel strategy for the state in the first instance and ultimately for the country also. Uh, the strategy was to have the uh, tree borne oil seeds as the feedstock to produce biofuels, which uh, in a way will not compete with the food and also the agriculture land. Nurseries were developed with grafted seedlings of various species of oil trees for distribution and plantation. This also helped them understand the need to protect forest areas. 
Farmers came together to form associations across the districts, covering hundreds of villages to start biofuel cultivation. Today, degraded and marginal land areas are converted into fertile land through intercropping. Saplings are planted without interfering with the local produce. In Sarwad village of Bijapur district, the program is transforming the lives of farmers and marginal landless communities. Neem seed collection is one of the major sources of livelihood for the communities. Now, you sang it in the water room, Manas Mandela won the money, Yala Rubra, Pratiabra, Mada, the Hottitum Bodhari. Al Madaga Hottitum, the Trimata, Yelanka, Malila, and Ilre, Ari, even Madaga, the Kulianka, Harin, the Anu, Udesh, and Ilre, the Tanda, the Upiju Nursa Katare. Women are the main collectors of this seed, and four to five tons of neem seeds are collected every season. A few years back, the women were able to sell the seeds for only rupees two to three per kg. Today, the same seeds are sold for rupees seven to eight per kg. Either na bean bazaars lakhat on hot thad ne door sare agre bhatri. Awa jan rupak saaligi, atanak saaligi hingi duri. Iga hatcha jan mar lakhate tar adar din daori jan rupan agre bhatri. Aori hatcha madari reeta. New market links have been established and the creation of self-help groups have increased the earnings from a mere 150 rupees to 350 rupees a day during peak harvest season. A single woman can now earn up to 30,000 rupees every year, transforming the lives of the women and their families. Inspired by the change in a few women's lives in their village, other women are now joining the movement opting for neem seed collection as the new source of income generation. They are now financially independent and self-reliant. The seeds are in high demand for commercial consumption. Collected seeds are taken to oil extraction centers for processing to be supplied to industries. Small-scale manufacturing units which use various neem byproducts such as fodder and manure, have also sprung up in the area, generating employment for the rural communities. This has given livelihood alternatives for farmers and the youth who would have otherwise left their villages in search of work to cities. Ekraf is also working in Kinarahalli village in Hassan district to develop it as a biofuel village, a model of an energy smart village which is self-reliant for its energy needs. A unique intervention and partnership with local communities, not only to provide energy and food, but to also help improve their social and economic conditions. Widespread distribution of saplings, of oilseed trees and scientifically planned plantations have already started showing results. The plantations are being used as a source of fuel wood for the villagers, taking the pressures away from the forests, beginning to restore the forest cover in the area. ACRAF has gathered evidence that the small-scale oil producing units designed by University of Agriculture Sciences, UAS Bangalore, have contributed towards reducing energy poverty. These units have the capability to extract enough oil to meet the energy demand of a single home. Each machine can produce 100 liters a day. About 8 liters can be used to run the machine and the remaining can be sold for commercial purposes for a profit. The units have been distributed in 20 villages in the Hassan district. <laughs> Shekane Madikundanta Bijagalana. Nive Shekane Madikondo, Ayalana, Nive, Yadak Pekaru, Deepa Kagli, Gadi, Dijeli Gagli, Alkali, Upyok Spodu on the Maiti, officially, which are Natilito. Our time Nalina Migavondo 
ಎಷ್ಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹನ್ನೆರಡರಲ್ಲೇನೋ ಒಂದು ಮಿಷಿನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮಾರಾಗಿ ಆಯಲನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದ್ವಿ ಆವಾಗ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಏನು ಗಾಡಿ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಬರೀ ದೀಪಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಸ್ಕರ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಹಿಂಡಿಯನ್ನು ಸಾವಯವ ಗೊಬ್ಬರವಾಗಿ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ಸಾವಯವ ಕೃಷಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾನು ಹಿಂಡಿಯನ್ನು ಗೊಬ್ಬರವಾಗಿ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯನ್ ರಿಚ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಕೇಕ್ಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ ಫೀಡ್ ದಿ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಕೇಕ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ It is also used to enhance the gas production in the biogas plants which is a good source to fulfill the household energy requirement making the household and the village energy self sufficient. ಈಗ ಅದು ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ತಿಂಗಳಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ನಮ್ಮ ಅಡುಗೆಗಾದರೆ ಇದು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಇದಾಯಿತು ಅದು ಏನು ಏನು ಅಂಥ ಖರ್ಚುಗಳೇ ಬರೋದು ನಮ್ಮದೇ ದನಗಳಿರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ದನಗಳದ್ದೇ ಸಗಣಿ ಸಿಗೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಮತ್ತು ಅದು ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ರೂಪದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನನಗೆ ಎಫೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ನೆಸ್ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಬೆಳೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ರೂಪದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಗೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇದು ಈಗ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಲಿಕ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಬಯೋಗ್ಯಾಸ್ಗೆ ಬಳಸ್ಕೊಂಡ ಮೇಲೆ ನಮ್ಮದು ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಮು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟು ಅದು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆಯಿಂದ ಗೋಬರ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸು ಗೋಬರ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸಿಂದ ಸ್ಲರಿ ಟ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಂತ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ವಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ ಮತ್ತು ಸ್ಲರಿ ಟ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂದ ಡ ತೋಟಕ್ಕೆ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ರೂಪದಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆನ್ಯೂರು ಆಗ ಕೊಡೋ ಅಂತ ಆಲೋಚನೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ವಿ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಮೀಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಫ್ಯೂಲ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ರಮೇಶ್ ಅ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕಿನ್ನರಹಳ್ಳಿ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಂಗಾಮಿಯಾ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಟು ರನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಟುಡೇ with no engine modification required and an increased mileage of more than 7% he saves 40000 rupees every year on the tractor iga na 10 years inda jeevika inda nu upayogshi tractor odustha idivi namge adrinda ond varshike ond 30000 inda 40000 ulithaya aagta ide matte tractor ve bari smooth agaithe matte yenu repairi bandilla ಈಗ ಹದಿನೈದು ವರ್ಷ ಆಯಿತು ನಾವು ಗಾಡಿ ತಗೊಂಡು ಒಂದು ಸಲನೂ ನಾವು ರಿಪೇರಿ ಅಂತ ನೋಡೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಕ್ಕಪಕ್ಕಗಳಿಲ್ಲವ ಈಗ ಜನ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನೇ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇದು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರ ಸರ್ ಎನ್ಕರೇಜ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ವಿಲೇಜಸ್ ಇನ್ ನೇಬರಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೌ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇವೆಂಚುವಲಿ ಈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ the unique method of intercropping will allow them to grow cash crops without replacing their traditional agricultural produce and keeping the health of their soil intact farmers and marginal communities are among the most vulnerable today locked in debt and dealing with climatic changes 80% of our population still lives in villages solutions are urgently needed to meet the needs of these communities the backbone of india's economy the biofuel crop intervention has been successful it has provided a viable and effective alternative to fuel wood helped increase soil fertility and is recharging our ground water the nataka model which is now being tweaked with the intervention of icrap Uh, appears to be the model that the country can adopt at the national level and this will go a long way in uh, uh, achieving the goals that have been set out in the national policy a solution that can be replicated across the nation helping restore the earth's fractured balance a crucial step ensuring food water and livelihood for future generations agar hum biofuel pe thoda jod de hamari energy security ki ek mool strategy mein ek saindhantik ranniti mein antar aa sakti hai ye hum logon ne yojana banayi ki jo bio diesel jo bhi ek bahut bada market bharat mein ho sakta hai lagbhag 70 million metric ton hamari salana avashyakta hai desh mein ये लगभग हमको क्रूड ऑयल से बनाना पड़ता है उसमें अगर हम पांच से दस परसेंट ब्लेंडिंग कर देंगे ये बहुत बड़ा अर्थनैतिक कदम होने वाला है इसकी डोमेस्टिक इकोनॉमी में बहुत बड़ा इंपैक्ट डालने वाला है 
इसके लिए भी हमने नीति सुधार बनाया रिटेल चेन में भी हम बायोडीजल को ब्लेंडिंग करने की स्ट्रेटेजी बनाया है अभी ये निर्णय के बाद पिछले कई महीनों के अंदर अठारह शहरों में पांच परसेंट बायोडीजल ब्लेंडिंग की हम लोगों ने योजना बनाई ये सारे कदम करते हुए भारत के किसानों को हम मूल्य देने वाले हैं भारत की पर्यावरण की जिम्मेवारी हम लेने वाले हैं जो विश्व की पर्यावरण के ऊपर जिसकी इम्पैक्ट रहेगा और देश की अर्थनीति में हम इम्पोर्ट बिल घटा के देश की अर्थनीति में हम मदद कर सकते हैं ऐसे सारे रणनीति उसको क्रियान्वयन की रणनीति और उसकी ब्रॉड पॉलिसी फ्रेमवर्क हम लोगों ने बनाया है